All right, number two, uh, using your calculator, let r be the region enclosed by y equals the square root of x minus 1, the vertical line x equals 10, and the x-axis. Find the volume of the solid generated when r is revolved around the horizontal line of y is equal to 3. And so uh, I go ahead and set, so you can, uh, we're talking about the first quadrant, so go ahead and set your bounds to uh, your x is or are going to go from 0 to 10, and your y's are going to go, again, from 0 to 10. And your in your y1, go ahead and put the square root of x minus 1. In your y2, please put 3. And uh, using your calculator, I want you to find your, uh, your bounds, your a and your b. Um, I'll give you a clue. The lower bound is not going to be 0 because then you have an unbounded um, area. Okay. So you're not going to start at 0. Um, so we're, trying to, we're talking about the area under the curve. And so find your bounds. Uh, find your point of intersection and uh, go ahead and figure out what is your big R and your lowercase r. Once you find those uh, and everyone's okay, I'll give you a couple minutes. Um, go ahead and you can replay and hit play again on this video. So for right now, go ahead and hit stop, please. Work through it and then go ahead and hit play and you, I'll show you what I got. All right, if you're stuck, if you notice, I kind of ga I gave you your area under the curve. So we're talking about we're starting at 1. That's our lower bound. Here's our lower bound. And then we're going up to our upper bound, which is 10. And so we're going from 1 to 10. My capital R is the distance between, we're talking about the x-axis. So what the equation for the x-axis is y is equal to 0. So my capital R is the distance between my y equals 3 line and the x-axis. And so my capital R is going to be 3 minus 0. My lowercase r is the distance between my, again, y equals 3 and my curve. So my lowercase r is going to be 3 minus the square root of x minus 1. So just to get you started, so go ahead and hit pause again see if you can get the rest of it set up. All right, like I told you, capital R was 3 minus 0. Lowercase r was 3 minus the square root of x minus 1. And so I went ahead and showed you our my setup for the integration. Okay, a lot of times they'll ask you for that for when you're doing them on the AP exam. Same is true for my test. I want to see the setup. And then you can see how I plugged in the calculator. I did pi and then math mine uh, function integration. I had my, my y1 was my capital R. My y2 was my lowercase r. And my bounds were going from 1 to 10. And so what I got was 212 and 0.057. All right, number three, again, using your calculator, let R be the shaded region between the graphs of the square root of X plus the square root of, root of Y is equal to 2. And the X axis from X is equal to 0 to X is equal to 1, set up the expression for the volume of the solid generated by, the, by revolving R about X is equal to 1. And so since X is equal to 1, that is a vertical line, so we need to solve in terms of Y. We need to solve in terms of Y. And so uh, go ahead, again, use your calculator, get a picture, and we'll go from there. Please pause the video to start working on this particular problem. All right, if you are stuck, okay, we're, we're revolving around x equals 1. And so here on my calculator, here is x is equal to 1. And so that is a vertical rotation, so we're talking about in terms of dy. So we need to solve for x over here. So I have the square root of x plus the square root of y is equal to 2. And so I'm going to subtract y from both sides. So I have the square root of x is equal to 2 minus the square root of y. If I get rid of the square root, I do it by squaring. So I'll square both sides. So I have x is equal to 2 minus the square root of y squared. And this is what I put into my y1, except for instead of y, I have, a, I have x. And so when we rotate, we're, this is what we're rotating around. This I have the shaded region for you. That's what we're rotating around the uh, uh, function x is equal to 1. So go ahead and see if you can go from here. 
All right. Uh, if you need to play me again or keep on playing me again, our our close our furthest. We'll do the furthest first. So our furthest is this right here, the y-axis. Well, the y-axis has the equation of x is equal to zero, and that's the furthest away from my axis of rotation. So my capital R is going to be zero minus my one. And so now I'm going to do my closest. So my closest is that uh, ugly function. That's my lowercase r. So my lowercase r is, sorry, I did this backwards. Ah, crap, I did this backwards. I need to go left to right, not low, uh, or right to left, not left to right. All right, so let me uh, erase all that. All right, sorry about that. My lowercase r going right to left, sorry about that, is going to be 1 minus my 0. Sorry about that. So it's be left, uh, right to left, not left to right. My lowercase r is going to be 1 minus that ugly function. And there's my lowercase r. So 1 minus 2 minus the square root of y squared. All right, go ahead and hit pause again and see if you can go from here. I want you to, you don't have to solve, you just need to set it up. All right, and you should get something like this. You have pi times uh, the antiderivative going from 0 to 1 of 1 of 1 squared, that's our capital R, minus, we're going to square uh, 1 minus parentheses 2 minus square root of y, that quantity squared. We're squaring that whole thing, so that's the double squaring that you see over here. And all that times dy. All right, now this is what I want you to do. I want you to take out uh, the other part of your paper, and so you should see area and volume, and please go there. I want you to try uh, the first section, first uh, number one. So if the first one you find the area between curves, and you I think one of them you're rotating around, I think around the x-axis, and then I have you rotating around a different axis other than uh, the x or y. Uh, please go ahead and try it. And then uh, when you're ready to check your answers, please uh, go to the next video.